In this video, we'll see how to use WP Forms, the number one WordPress form builder, to create a customized login form on your website like this, so that when your visitors log in, they can get directed to a custom page on your website, which is hidden from the public, and not just see the WordPress dashboard page as you do when you normally log in. I can't show you all the contents on this page, because this is a real events community website I was hired to build in my neighborhood. But hopefully when you master WP Forms, you'll get hired too. And this is great for creating every website from artist websites or photography sites to community event websites or even academic websites for your school where you just want someone to see a login page on the homepage and then be directed to some exclusive password protected content. So because this is a start to finish tutorial where we're actually gonna create something together, the first thing I'll do is just delete this form we just saw. There's the form. As we can see, it's just a short code right here, which we'll get to know a little bit later. And I'm just gonna right click and delete it. Okay, now let's recreate the form. So the first step you need to do, obviously, is just go ahead and get yourself WP Forms. I'll leave you a link below in the description that will bring up all the latest discounts at WP Forms, which always has some sort of special deal going on. And if you use that link, I'll also get a small credit from WP Forms for referring you. This helps a ton. It helps me keep offering free WordPress help to you guys every day on YouTube and gives me time to make more videos. So keep in mind that for this feature, that is the custom login page, we do need the pro version of WP Forms. The basic version offers a lot, but what we really want is this advanced add-on, which is for user registration. And they explain all of it on the website. What that means is that when you get WP Forms, the pro version, which of course I'm recommending, and I recommend you get it today, is you get not only this download of WP Forms itself, but you get access to several other add-ons. You can do things like connect Aweber, do geolocation add-ons to see where your users are registering from. Of course, you can build registration forms for any sort of event and collect any sort of info on your registrants. And you can also add payment, which I know is really popular these days. PayPal standard is super smooth, so is Square and Stripe, and they all work flawlessly with the best form builder for WordPress. There is also a light version of WP Forms that you can get through the WordPress plugin repository that'll let you try it out and do things like a blank form, symbol contact form, and even a newsletter, which collects your site's visitors contact info. So you could try that out, but I do think you will find it a little bit um, holding you back-ish and limited. And to get all these other features, it's probably best for you just to go ahead and get that pro version right away. Keep in mind that if you use WP Forms as I do to build client websites, Building one website a year would basically cover this cost right away because most websites that I sell these days for clients cost people over $1,000, which in itself is a cheap cost. So you could make a lot of money using WP Forms once you master it. Okay, now that we've covered which version of WP Forms I recommend you get, let's go ahead and activate it on our websites. We can just download the pro version right here as a plugin. And I'm also gonna scroll down and download our user registration add-on. And these are both individual plugins. Great, so once we go back to WordPress, right here, I'm gonna update our empty form page. It's kind of sad to see it go, but I think we'll be able to recreate it together, I'm confident. We're gonna to go to exit to dashboard, where you'll be, and head to your plugins area. And then you're just gonna to wanna to upload those two plugins, all right? So WP Forms and WP Forms user registration have been uploaded to my plugins dashboard. Great, now we're set to make a new form, guys. So you'll have the WP Forms tab, hover on it and just click add new. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna wanna name our form here. So I'm just gonna call this login to IP, which is our community. All right, and we're gonna scroll down and you might think you want to do a blank form, but you don't in this case. You're going to want to scroll all the way down, or you can actually hit Command Find and look up Login, and it's right there at the bottom. So by installing the add-on along with the plugin from the pro version, we got the user login form, the user password reset form, 
and the user registration form all as custom add-ons. Awesome. So let's click use template for user login form and great. So we can see right away that the title we chose is the title of the form itself. And we want to make that a little more customized. When you click on it, you'll get the editing window right here. And by the way, this WP form dashboard we're looking at here is actually part of your website itself. As we can see, it just exists in this custom form builder area. If you X out, it'll just take you back to the dashboard in WordPress that you're familiar with. So let's give it a new name and a little description to get people going. Hope I spelled that right. All right, now one of the cool things is you can change the submit button text to something more appropriate, like login. And down below, there's some advanced options that we won't use now, but you could add some CSS if you're familiar with that. All right, let's save our progress so far. So we can see we did all that in the general tab. And now we're gonna to go to notifications. You can get notified when someone registers and you can send the email to whatever WordPress has as your admin email in your settings. Then we can go to confirmations and this is what we really get with WP Forms. This is really what we pay for in this case. So we have a confirmation type and there's a few of them. There's message, which is obviously just a message that shows up. There's show page, which would of course show a page and that's a little trickier to set up. So the one we wanna do now is just go to URL, which will take someone to a new page on your site, which is also hidden. In our case, I've already made that page and it's just the events page. So you'll need to set up that page as a new page in WordPress and put up whatever info you want to be hidden until someone logs in. You can also add a new confirmation and another confirmation type will come in below. Let's save our confirmation. And now we can go to user registration. So this part is pretty awesome because you can change what shows up where the form used to be if someone goes back to the page where they logged in on. So I'm gonna write a little line break and it already says you're already logged in. So I'll just give a little directions such as to view events, click here. All right, and we can wrap that anchor text with a link. All right, and let's save our progress. We can see we're in settings here to get general notifications, confirmations, and user registration. And next, let's just go to fields. Okay, so this is what someone obviously sees on the form. We can click on each box and we can go ahead and either change the label to something more simple or more complicated. So I'm gonna go with just username because I'll be passing out a username for people to use this website. And great. You can also do a description, which that would go below down there. Or you could do advanced things like a placeholder text, like enter your username. But that's a little bit redundant. One of the coolest things I like here is that you can do the size of the field. And I like doing large. As you can see, it stretches out. And that'll stretch out in whatever Elementor column or perhaps WordPress area or WordPress widget where you put your form. Let's go to password and advanced and do the same for this field. Awesome, so that's all we really need to do. Even though, as you can tell with WP Form, there's a ton of options you can customize when you become a pro. All right, so conditional logic would be one of those things as well, which we'll cover, I'm sure, in a later video. Let's save our progress. And now it's time to embed our form into our site. Okay, so when we click embed, WP Forms will give us an option to actually create a new page in WordPress which WP Forms will do for us or select an existing page, or my favorite option is to embed your form manually with the short code. So I'll show you how to do it this old school way. Let's X out of here and make sure to save and then hit the X to go back to our dashboards. Okay, beautiful guys. So now we have this new form, which is the user login form. And we can see it has its own short code right here. Go ahead and highlight that short code, including both brackets and copy it. And now we're gonna go back to our home page, and we're gonna edit it with Elementor and secretly hope that no one tried to log in while we were making the video for everyone here on YouTube. And we're gonna go ahead and get a short code element, right? So we have some text, header, all this stuff, an icon, which you hopefully know how to make here in Elementor, and that's the mobile version of the home page. And we just need a short code. So let's click on the Rubik's Cube and type in short code. And we're gonna drag that short code into the right column. Now edit your short code and just paste in the short code that WB Forms made for us. And there you have it. And we'll update. 
All right, and it looks like some of our changes might not have been totally saved. So why don't we go back to the dashboard, WP Forms, and that's my fault. I just inserted the wrong shortcode. So we're gonna copy the right shortcode, go back to our homepage here and edit with Elementor. And the cool thing is it shows you how you can have a lot of short codes and all you need to do is paste in a new one and you'll get a totally different form. So maybe you have a form for a different season or a different event or with totally different criteria to log in. And you just copy paste and the new one shows up. So this is in fact the form that we just made together. Awesome. Let's update it. And now let's check out our homepage and see how it looks. All right, so we can see we're logged in. So we don't get to see the form. Why don't we now log out? But before you do that, guys, I'm gonna show you the final step of using the form and that's to create a user. So as you usually did in WordPress, we're gonna create a new user and that's done in users. All right, so we can see we have myself here, which is the admin of the site and we have the login that's gonna be used for neighbors, AKA members of our community that wanna see the events going on. That could be just people who you're clients with or maybe you make this website for say a photographer and they give out that password individually to different clients and that way the client can log in and see their own custom content which is on the photography website you know which is in works for that customer something like that and it's really important to manage your users efficiently right here in wordpress and they make it really easy so you need to create a user and in my case i've made the role administrator and subscriber and we're going to log in as a subscriber now so we're gonna go back to the site and log out to simulate how it'll work for you now. And you're gonna get taken to the WordPress login page, which I don't love a ton, but when you go back to the homepage, you'll be on your customized login screen. Okay, awesome. Now we're gonna do username, which again, I created on my own and you'll have to create this too because that will basically limit or enhance what the person can do on your site. Of course, you don't wanna be giving out your admin username to people who are just logging in to view information on the site, like parents or students or community members. But you do need to remember that password. And we'll log it in. And it works. Great guys, so you now learned how to create a custom login form, embed it on your website, and direct someone to an exclusive page where someone can view information. I can't show you everything on this page because it is a real community with real events. But keep in mind that WordPress lets you upload PDFs, videos, galleries, everything else that a event information would need. And I know you're gonna love it. So I believe that is it. And then if someone ends up back on the homepage, the cool thing is you can go ahead and get them to click right here to get back to where they need to go. Really simple, of course, as you develop your site more, you can actually make custom headers for these hidden pages, like different menus. So someone could view other items like history, you know, payments, accounts, something like that, which would all not be visible on the homepage, which is just designed to get someone to log in. So hope you enjoy learning all this guys. Of course, if you have any questions, put those down below the video in the comments area. And if you learned anything here, it'd mean a lot to me if you could hit that like button. So I know that you stopped by. That's really it guys. I wanna lastly say that when you set up your site, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have control over the homepage area. And so you're basically gonna want to do as we always do in every tutorial and make sure you make a page for your homepage, which is the page that'll contain the form and all the cool stuff. And once you've made this home page custom in your pages, which I know is a little redundant, but you do have to create a brand new page for your home content. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure in settings reading, you go ahead and set that page you just made as your homepage displays a static page, the homepage. And that'll make it so you can control everything like we saw in the tutorial using Elementor and make all sorts of these custom sections. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. There'll be a lot more coming with WP Forms because as we can see, there are so many fun tools to use. Can't wait. Let me know which add-on or tool or feature you'd like me to cover next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy blogging, and bye for now.